Hi everyone, welcome back to Clipping for Coupons with Allie. I am back in the kitchen again today and today I am making a two ingredient pizza chip. One of my favorite foods is pepperoni pizza so I thought this was definitely a fitting recipe to share with you guys. So as of right now I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. And also I have a parchment lined cookie sheet here and I have already started one pile of um, what is going to be a pizza chip. So all you need is your favorite kind of cheese. I have a sharp cheddar cheese here, yellow, and I also have pepperoni. Those are the only two ingredients that you need or if you want to get fancy, you can add more than just those two ingredients and you can have maybe like a pizza sauce to dip these in at the end. Or if you would like to add some seasonings, you can also do that as well. Maybe some Italian seasoning or maybe some parsley and oregano, a little bit of basil, whatever you desire, you can always spice this up just a little. So what we do, is we take a tablespoon of the cheese that you selected and you make a pile here on your parchment paper and then all you do is add one piece or two pieces of pepperoni to the top of that like so and then we're going to bake this at 350 degrees for about five to seven minutes and if you like yours a little bit crispier which I do recommend Oh, our oven is ready. So I do recommend at the end, the last minute or two or even three, depending how crispy you want these, I would put your oven on broil and just let these finish up just a little. So let me get my pan completely full and then we're going to get these into the oven now that it's ready. All right, so we have six pizza chips that are already created. My oven is preheated, so I'm going to get these in the oven for about five to seven minutes. I am going to use the broil setting for the last about two and a half minutes, so stay tuned and you'll see the finished product of these. Did I also mention that you can throw these on top of your favorite salad as well? When you're cooking in the kitchen, always give your dog some. Going into the oven, just took these out of the oven and this is the final product. You let these cool for just a few minutes and then um, they also harden as well. And then you can replate them and serve immediately and enjoy immediately. Let me know if you guys are going to be making this recipe. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, and comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to click that notification button so you do not miss out on a single video. Never answered a no, man, I still go, 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 go. Every single day I'll be making moves Till I'm buried in my grave To the system I don't wanna be